Who I loves love bowling? bowling? I love bowling. Right. But more than bowling, I love bowling animations, baby. It's why I go. It's why I throw the ball. If it wasn't for the animations, I'd just sit there and watch. Well, ultimately, we are trying to make funny bowling animations. We're trying to make people laugh. However, we're trying to do it by revealing life's truths to them. And sometimes when you do that and they're not ready for it, they're gonna get offended. Everyone else will be delighted. You can, you can take them right to the line, and as long as you sprinkle a little clever on top, people chill right out. Jordan has had this incredible arc where he couldn't find the line. <laughs> And then last time, he really knocked everybody's socks off. I'm trying to find that line, you know? I have no moral compass emotionally, I'm just gray. You yeah, know? Jordan is a sociopath. Yeah, I don't know what you guys are feeling, you know? So I just smile. Does anybody have ideas yet? Oh, I'm, not, I'm not feeding you guys my idea. I mean, I've got an idea, but I think it's too offensive. Don't let the anxiety get you. Look, everything we've said here, we can disregard, because to be honest, anything we make today, as long as it's a bowling alley animation, it becomes slightly offensive. So we are bulletproof, guys. <laughs> okay? It's a cartoon. Right. So I mean, I guess the next thing to do is to make the animations, and we'll see them all at the bowling alley. Bowling! <laughs> All right, here we go. We have our bowling animations. I am very excited to see all of them. Today we're gonna find the line once again. I mean, one of the rules in bowling is that you can't step over the mm. line. And I think that line will also double as where we fall on the slightly offensive spectrum. I think everybody, after you bowl, and after we see the animation, we're gonna step up to that line. And we're gonna see. You know what, and if anybody's animation is deemed not offensive enough, I will post it as an NFT, and then that should push it over the line. <laughs> the most controversial part of this video. Let's go bowling. Woo! Alright, get the bowling ball up. Give it a little Sammy was like, whatever happens, I don't know. <laughs> like, I couldn't get it to work, and the fan, it kept hitting the fan. And so I was like, okay, screw this. And so I literally was just like, okay, right, now he's gonna fly out the window. Expressive bowling pins, man. Yeah. It brings another level of uncanny emotion to it that shouldn't be in a bowling animation. How did you do it? Well, how did I get my bowling pins so expressive? Well, oh, oh, Jordan Allen already did it. I'm just gonna steal his style. On a more technical level though, we're using morph targets. Basically, the way that works is I have my pin, I got a spear, I got another spear, I'm slicing it up, and to move it, I'm basically just using a single slider here. Whoa, the mouth moves with a slider. And the way that works is basically I take all my points and I stretch them out, I say that's a pose, and I squish them together, and I say that's a pose, and then I have an easy slider that I can animate between. So I'm not messing with individual vertices. Same goes for the eyes, blink, 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 and you can even go negative. Honestly, I have two sliders, and I can animate the whole face with that. It's, it's primitive, but it gets me by. Can we assign our place on the line here? This is hilarious. It's definitely edgy for being a bowling animation. I would, I would be near the line. Oh yeah, closer. I'd I'm say it's safely on this side of the line, though. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't show it to my kids, mainly because I wouldn't want to have to deal with the questions they'd be asking. Yeah. yeah. Great. Good open. Wow. So Sam was one with the crowd. Now I want to see if I can like take this one to crowd and deliver something else to get some laughs. Wow. Ready to bowl? Not bowl. very good at bowling. Uh oh. <sighs>
They didn't want to have it. They were forced to have it by the courts, and now there's three. <laughs> Those oh Ace God. Attorney like yeah, extreme yeah. judge intro shots are so <laughs> cool. Yeah, that was a, that was my favorite part. Those th those three shots. Well, what did you do with the pregnant bowling pin? <laughs> like, why is there like? It looks like you welded on the. Dude, that's like eight and a half months in. Well, Dean, let me tell you why it looks so weird. <laughs> The immense challenge of making a bowling pin pregnant is solved by selecting a bunch of faces, hitting the tessellate button a couple times, and then you go into soft selection mode, where I'm gonna select some of these points here, enable soft selection, and this will only move things based on this gradient, so if I pull out from the middle here, there you go. I don't know, I don't know bowling pin anatomy. <laughs> I'm making all this stuff up as I go. Anyways, it's hard to not have it get weird and bumpy, but I think it was more fun than making a pregnant bowling pin was animating these bowling pins, because I didn't use any bones or skeletons or anything like that. Everything's just animated with these modifiers, these bend modifiers. You know, that's it. And, and you also have this stretch and squash here. Whoa, they have to approach things as simply as possible. A little squash and stretch, a little bend, put the two together, you can make bowling pins talk. You can do so many different things. Laughing's easy. You just bend the bowling pin back and then you go, Ha 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 ha. You need a rhythm. That's why you make the yeah. sound. Your, your style is impeccable. But is it on the line? Yeah. Where, where do we land? No, this shouldn't be offensive. I might be here. I might be here. I did have some clever twist this time. They can't all be 9 11 jokes. 9 10, 9 10, 9 10, 9 10. I'm not offended, but I am satisfied. All right. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> all right. Take it to the line, baby. Come on. Here at the line, ready to bowl. I got to get my spacing now. Oh, oh. oh. So that would technically be a spare, but he was not spared that day. Wow. I like to think this is how it actually happened. <laughs> you know, the cop just walked up with the rope and then he's yep. like, all right, go. I think we've all been ramping it up, but this is like an animation that you would actually see in terms of the length. Like this yeah. is, it's like two beats. It's like guy in prison, oh, who is it? Oh, it's Jeffrey Epstein. Now there's a couple things that I find really interesting about this, let me tell you. Playing in 3D is a lot like playing with Legos, and it's a lot of fun. So I basically just went to Sketchfab, I downloaded a model of a prison, bowling ball, some pins, a security camera. Initially I wanted to have like just arms and legs sticking out of the bowling ball, kind of like an M&M guy, you know? But when I went to Mixmo to try to rig it up, it kept failing. I ended up resorting to basically just making the bowling ball a big head, but the base model that I used is actually Mickey Mouse. But I didn't want it to look like Mickey Mouse, so I basically just desaturated and changed the colors of it. I cut off the tail, I cut off the head, and I replaced it with a bowling ball. And I modeled the eyes and eyebrows here. That was all relatively simple. The mustache I downloaded from Sketchfab, but I think the most interesting aspect of this character is the hat. You know, because we're doing an offensive render, I thought I might as well do some, you know, generative AI stuff. So a company called Luma is actually doing some really cool stuff in like the Nerf space, the photo scanning space, but they also launched a product called Genie. It's like generative AI for images, but for 3D models. It's here, guys. It's like, it's real. It's not amazing, but it's, it's a first step, and it's actually pretty decent. A <laughs> private island. Oh, interesting. So these That'll top do. two are like weird, but this one actually kind of looks like a, an island here. So that's what I did with the hat. I typed in security guard hat and it gave me a bunch of variations of it. I chose one and it made a higher resolution version of that and I was able to download it, load it into my scene and I had a real working hat with the real texture on it. Where did I my across the line, was this too offensive? No, I'm like, Epstein in anything is going to be slightly offensive. <laughs> Thank you, know, <laughs> I already knew that the guards killed him. <laughs> so you I'm actually way back <laughs> I've had two animations to this point. I feel like one, I went way too far. I think this one might just be right. Here we go. Wait a minute. Yeah, wait a minute. Belmo will continue to roll out. Right. Oh, shoot. Lay 
getting your bright future. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Depressing bowling video. I'm just yeah, the, the silence that befell the room at the end. Like I'm imagining that in a bowling alley where everyone's just like kind of solemnly. Oh, that's what I'm going for. Is like you have to feel so bad about bowling. You're, you're so right. It's it's yeah. got a it's got to twist the narrative of bowling where you don't feel good about hitting the pins. You feel terrible and you don't want to keep bowling. I like the vibe of this. Like the whole like style of it works really well. Like the, the crunched posterized yeah. colors. All the animation stuff. I mean, there's like full body animation and there's a lot of it. How did you do that? So one thing when we have limited time is animation. Animation is the longest part of the process. So one thing I actually played around with was Rococo Vision, which is visual AI based motion capture. So I actually set up two webcams, literally no mocap suit. It takes the two angles of the webcams and triangulates your positions. And it was super helpful because it saved me a lot of time on the more complex stuff, trying to emulate some of the exact performances that are in the movie. What about the line? I mean, it's gang violence, but it's also from a movie. Yeah. You guys are so far away. I'll be like here. Maybe I'm being too sensitive, man. I gotta be honest, I haven't really found any of these to be overly offensive. Can Jordan push us over the line? Am I trying to? Historically, it feels like it. You know, you introduced us to the concept of what being over the line felt like. Right now, I feel the same butterflies in my stomach, but I'm confident. I feel like, I, I feel like I'm on the line here. Pray for me. Clever in there. Split. Oh my god, it's perfect. Uh, Did you model those like cherry trees, dude? Well, let me tell you. Very, very simple geometry, but still beautifully detailed. And it came from CG Trader, from an artist beautifully named It Happy. And it made me happy. It happy. So thank you. You know, once we have the 3D model, that makes a lot of the other stuff easier, right? The blocking, the idea of this shot list telling this story. It just involves navigating the 3D model. And I found a couple angles, kind of designed the opening story I wanted to tell, and then threw my animations in there. We need this stylistically to be very particular, right? It can't look good, <laughs> kind of. I'm working in Houdini. And it's actually surprisingly hard to get things to look bad. And so between us, I just didn't try. Right? This time, throw one over to After Effects. It's what I've done for every single bowling animation to this point to give it that nice, crappy feel. Red Giant has a really helpful plugin, Red Giant Universe VHS or something like that. What is it? It's the chromatic aberration. Look at how the colors are just being splayed to give it just that degraded look. There's also some damage being applied to this too to bring it into that bowling animation world. And it saves me the headache of having to try to navigate that inside of Houdini. So I hope it worked. I hope you feel shameful. And if you're mad at me, the reality is, this is a merit to society. This is disgusting, it's despicable, and if you're deriving joy from this, it says more about you than it does about me. Hey, the plane! The plane's <laughs> headed to the second city! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh Man. my god, dude, there's nothing better than the bowling ball hitting and the balloon going up. <laughs> <laughs> this animation deserves 
to be scraped by every TikTok. <laughs> this is such a huge piece of scrap wood you've thrown into the shipwreck, into the water. They're gonna be clamoring to grab a hold of this one. You're so sweet. Thank you so much. <laughs> it feels weird accepting any compliments for this. <laughs> if you enjoyed this bowling animation video, guess what? We've made a compilation of all of our best and spiciest animations all in one video right here. Check it out, subscribe for more. I hope you have a good time like we did, and thanks for watching.